Hello, everyone. The 4D extender is a 5G and LTE wireless WAN gateway that is designed for today's modern networks. It has evolved to become a very versatile product in Fortinet's secure networking portfolio pillar. It can extend your WAN with cellular or enable the thin edge in Fortisassi. It can be deployed in SD branch and Fortinet's secure SD WAN. It has flexible management options. It can operate on its own or seamlessly integrate with the FortiGate next generation firewall. And it even has a built-in out-of-band console server. Today, I'll be focusing on the recently launched 40 Extender 202F. I'll be talking about it in standalone mode and then as a WAN extension for the FortiGate. Let's start with what makes the 202F special. First and foremost, it's a dual modem device that is capable of housing four SIM cards from four different cellular carriers. Second, it's a low cost entry level LTE dual modem gateway, which gives it an excellent balance between features and value. And lastly, Fortinet is the only company to offer a dual modem gateway that can be deployed in SD-WAN. Let's take a moment and review the single modem 40 extender devices. These models have one modem that can house two SIM cards. This gives the Ford Extender the ability to perform a SIM failover, or SIM switch as Fortinet calls it. If there's an issue with SIM 1, the Ford Extender will fail over to SIM 2, thereby restoring your network services. Now let's have a look at how the Ford Extender 202F's dual modems compare. Each modem can perform a SIM switch independently, and both modems are simultaneously active, thus providing an active-active deployment. In the middle is a more logical diagram of the 202F. Each modem provides a connection to the internet through the active SIM card. Now with those two active cellular connections, the Ford Extender can create a virtual WAN. But let's see what that virtual WAN has to offer. The first thing that can be done is it can be configured for redundancy. If there's an issue with the primary link, the secondary link will immediately take over the traffic forwarding responsibilities. This deployment is for environments where network uptime, business continuity, and user experience are paramount. The other configuration that can be done is link load balancing using a weighted round robin algorithm. With this deployment, traffic is selectively distributed across both active links to take full advantage of the link capabilities. This offers superior performance and scalability through the increased wireless WAN link capacity. Let's see how the virtual WAN is configured. This is the Ford Extender GUI, and you can see that my Ford Extender is called TMG FEX 202F. The first task is to create health checks for each interface that will be part of the virtual WAN. Health check one and two are configured the exact same way. Next is to define the members. Here, I've added each LTE interface as its own member. Priority is used in redundancy mode. The member with the lowest priority will become primary and take on the responsibility to forward the traffic. Weight is used in load balancing. If you want one member to forward more traffic than the other, then you assign it a higher weight value. After the members have been added, now we can create the virtual WAN. Here is where the selection between redundant and weighted round robin load balancing is made. FEC stands for forward equivalence class, but it essentially refers to persistence. For example, you can have traffic with the same source and destination pair persistently traverse only one virtual WAN member. This setting helps when applications are expecting certain layer 3 and layer 4 parameters to be consistent throughout the session. And the final task is to direct the traffic to the virtual WAN with a policy-based route. Okay, I've been using the 202F with this virtual WAN in load balancing mode for some time now. Let's verify that it's working as it should. You can see here that it is load balancing the data across both LTE interfaces. Okay, so now let's have a look at how the 202F looks when connected to a FortiGate and utilized in SD-WAN. This is the FortiGate GUI. You can see that my Fort Extender named TMG 
FX 202F is serving as a WAN extension on this FORTI gate. And both modem interfaces, LTE1 and LTE2, are recognized. In the diagnostic view, you can see modem information, signal quality, and SIM data. Here is the SD-WAN rules page. Business critical traffic such as Office 365 is steered towards the wire overlay link first. And if that link fails out of the SLA, then the traffic will traverse the LTE interface. This is a common use case where the Forty extender is adding resiliency to the network. If you're interested in diving deeper into the Forty extender and SD-WAN, there are two excellent videos linked below in the description. Okay, that concludes the presentation. I hope you found it informative and thank you for watching.